as promised, I'm getting in the jacuzzi with Joe. No one's in here right now, so thank you. We're getting in. See, the pools are pretty empty when you're in port, so take advantage if you stay on the ship. Pools and jacuzzis are empty. Alright, we enjoyed the jacuzzi in peace. No one was in there with us. Now we are going to go to the water slides. And I'm only going to promise at least one time down. I don't do water slides. But she's finally tall enough to get in it, so I have to go with her at least once. I'll say a quick prayer for me. <laughs> Hoping my body will be good when I come down the slide. Hey, on your butt, in my butt. <laughs> Look how empty it is. Nobody. Everyone is at Coco Cay. So definitely, if you have several stops in Coco Cay, um, or if you've been there before, definitely. Definitely try to take advantage of the ship facilities. Only getting on one, Joe. Yeah, you can do as many as you want. All right, no cameras allowed on the water slide, so you won't have evidence of it, but Joe will tell you if I went down, right? Yeah, all right, here we go. to get some uh, some uh, friction. All right, Joe's going back up. I'm not doing that again. But it was fun, lots of fun. There Joe goes, go mama, go. She's just excited that she can actually go on it because the last time we were on the Mariner, she was just a little too short, so now she's the perfect height. situation up here at the slides um, and for those of you who don't know I am a school administrator so I, I'm, I'm pretty you know good on handling kids or what have you but as Joe Marie was getting off the slide a kid just walked up to her and smacked smacked her and so you know the mama bear comes out and I'm getting ready to go up to the kid then the mom comes well apparently he was on the slide smacking all the kids well all the girls um, so they banned him from the slide so just word of caution and I don't suspect and again don't want to make any judgments but I have a child who's on the spectrum um, and I work with children this kid did not appear to be um, but either way if he was then he needs to be more closely monitored so if you do have a child on the spectrum or a kid that's just a bad I'm not gonna say the word then please monitor your child because you know, we come on vacation to have fun, not vacation for our kids to get smacked. And yeah, I don't think that was cool. So there's another family, I won't record them or anything, but there's another family talking to them, but that was pretty upset. So Joe Marie handled it just fine, but word of caution, you know, not everyone's gonna be as nice as me, so watch your kids. But I do wanna say that Royal Caribbean handled it well. Um, the lifeguards came up to me and told me what happened. Um, so I don't know if they did. Joe, did he smack you when you were going up the slide too? Or just when you, okay. So yeah, so they came to me and said that he was banned from the slides, but really they need to ban him from um, all the fun areas where other kids are gonna be if he's not gonna behave himself. Um, his mom did apologize, he did apologize to Joe, but again, it's just not okay. So please keep your children in check. I keep mine in check, we keep ours in check. So please take care of your kids. Yeah amazing view just love it can't get enough of it perfect day at Coco Cay and also let me clarify um, we have not sailed on NCL yet and earlier I said that it looked like the ship wasn't able to dock well I just learned that it actually doesn't dock there's a tender boat if you can see it 
So if you are in CL, you tender over to the private island. So that's kind of cool. All right, we're back in the kids' space, just taking a break from that sun. Back in the play place, Joe's the only one in here. I'm gonna get my comfy chair over there. That's a really comfortable one too. Pop up my feet. Mm -hmm. You wanna take a tour of this? Yeah, let's take right. a down. I'd rather you have shoes on too. But what if I say this fall off? Alright, you take it a tour. So I'm going to show you the first area what this is. Slide. Here are the stairs. Here is the slide. And I'm going to show you another slide. Here's a wally. Same. And now we're gonna play. <laughs> so this is what she's feeling the ball. Real quick. And then we're gonna start playing. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> and that's that's almost the end. Oh my god. I'll show me swinging though. And now here is the Krabby. Okay, Joe Marie. All right, we're off to Promenade Cafe to get um, a snack or something, maybe a fruit cup or something. I think I'm gonna have some coffee and then we're gonna go to the cabin, get packed, and Joe Marie. We're gonna get packed and um, cleaned up so that we can enjoy the rest of the night. Joe thinks her blueberry mousse is a bunny rabbit. I don't know if I see it. Mommy, but the ears. I see the ears, but let me see. Do you guys see a bunny rabbit? Maybe in her imagination, I guess. <laughs> okay, so. All right, here's our promenade cafe dessert tasting with Joe. What do you have there, Joe? Bunny rabbit. She says it's a bunny rabbit, I don't know. But it's a blueberry mousse, a sugar-free blueberry mousse. Let's take the blueberries out. Give it a try. Well, we know you like blueberries. It's her favorite fruit, one of her favorite fruits. All right, give the mousse a try. It's sugar-free, is it sweet at all? Put two thumbs up. Two thumbs up? No. You want, you want me to put two thumbs up? There's one. There's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine thumbs up for that blueberry mousse. A ten. Yummy yum. A ten. No, thank you. I'm gonna have cookies and coffee. Cookies and cookie man. All right, back in the cabin. We have information on getting off the ship. And instead of a towel animal, which we would normally get on Carnival, we get a tip envelope. And so um, most people, I usually prepay our tips. Um, so gratuities, you have to add that onto your cruise if you're not familiar with that. If you don't prepay your gratuities, which I highly recommend because it just avoids, you know, any extra charges or anything um, when it's time for you to check out. Um, but usually they will charge the card on file the night before you get off, or actually they charge, I think Royal Caribbean charges two nights before you get off um, the gratuity. So you'll see that on your portfolio. And um, if you wanna leave an extra tip for your room steward, you can absolutely do that in the cabin, I usually do. Um, 
but usually they don't request them. So <laughs> I just kind of do that on, we do that on our own. So definitely if you had a really good experience, room steward, um, all of that, you know, leave them a little extra tip. So we are gonna go get showered and cleaned up and start packing. All right, Jill and I rested for a little bit. Now we are up, we're twinning again. We're gonna uh, return our towels so that we're not charged is $25 a towel. So be sure you return them. Don't leave them around because you will be charged. And then we're going to go to the arcade. All right, you want to play this one? All right, this is two credits. You're only going to do it once. All right, let's swipe the card. close game but I won. <laughs> I'm not just gonna let the kids win. They have to work for it, right? <laughs> So we just had like an impromptu photo shoot with our selfie stick around the ship. So enjoy those pictures. I'll put them right here. Now we're off to the gift shop so I can get my model ship, which is something that I collect when I cruise. I have not been on the ship, so I don't have the model ship for it. All right, so we are now about to go to deck four to Boleros to take some pictures. And then we're gonna go to the Easter egg hunt, which is at the kids club. So we'll check that out before dinner. All right, looks like all the families have their scavenger hunt information. Everybody's off running. So let's see how this works. Hello. Hi, hi. Hello. Hey, there Thank we you. go. Alright. Let's read it. It says, Freedom of the Seas. Huh? Can I do my own? Can I do my own? No, we have to do it together. It's a family scavenger hunt. Let's read it. Hold on. It says, Freedom of the Seas Easter scavenger hunt. Keep your eyes peeled for our golden eggs with an extra special prize. Okay, you ready? Let's see if we can find. You can guess this one. It says, want some pizza that, that's all hot and cheesy? Come to the Royal Promenade. Oh, that cool's too easy.
Hopu K, 5.30. This early dining time is pretty empty. So look at Ralph. So we have early dining, which is 5.30. And it's almost six. So a lot of people, I guess, aren't eating today. Or aren't eating in the main dining room. Um, people find that in because of the egg scavenger hunt. Well, that, well, that, the egg scavenger hunt, that, but probably also because people are packing and getting ready to leave, so they're probably doing a casual dinner. But I don't mind. No one near us. Love it. Right. Joe ordered coconut shrimp. And what else did you order, Joe? Shrimp cocktail. Shrimp cocktail. I got two And I got two orders of coconut shrimp. Joe Marie has the, what do you have Joe? Salmon. Salmon. I have the lamb shake. Okay. Apple blossoms all around. Double for me. I just kind of want my ice cream. All right, we finished dinner. Dinner was excellent as usual. I had the lamb shake. I really love that. We're going to go ahead and try to go to the spa so that she can find another Easter egg. Um, we'll see if we can get there. 7 o'clock, the kids club opens up. She's going to go to the kids club. I'm going to go see Jackie Wilson's son is the performer on the ship. So if we're going to go see him or I'm going to go see him, and then we're going to be going to bed. So let's get her to the spa. Hmm? Not yet, but soon you will be. Here's the adults only pool area. So we didn't make it for Joe to find another egg, which is fine. She has four eggs. Plus, they gave her a chocolate egg in the dining room. So she's good. So we're going to go ahead and get her to the kids club. I'm sure there's a line for me. Get her there right at 7 so I can get to the show. And just going to rest the rest of the evening. So last night when I got here um, for the show, I got here right at 7 and it was people piling in. They were flowing in. But look, it's empty. So I'm gonna sit front and center because I love old school music. So I'm an old soul and I'm gonna go right front and center. All right, there's a few more people showing up but this whole theater for him. I'm sitting front and center, I'm gonna show my support. I absolutely love Motown, that's my favorite. Uh, Motown, anything oldies. Like I might be a little young or might think I'm young, but I absolutely love the old sound. Um, so I'm gonna enjoy this private concert. Um, just a little, it's kind of a shame though that people aren't out enjoying this. So last night, like I said, they piled in for the um, the marquee show, which was just like a um, show with a bunch of different songs and things and the Royal Caribbean uh, performers, but you know, you have somebody here who's a celebrity or well, who I think is a celebrity, um, not really showing support. So I'm here and I'm gonna enjoy it. was the first Michael Jackson. He was the first Bruno Mars. He was the first uh, entertainer to do what he did uh, in the 60s. He became one of the biggest stars, and most influential entertainers uh, of, the, of the century. Um, he was the beginning of Motown. So if you don't know who he is, I want you guys to go ahead and Google him later on tonight and check him out, check out his music. His music is loved uh, over and over throughout the world. Uh, he's my dad. And this is one of the big songs for him that put him on top. In 1959, uh, this song was released and went number one in the country. Then my father passed away in 75. In 1987, the song went number one again in Europe. So I'd like to do it for you. It's called Reet Petit. She's so fine, fine, fine. She's so fine, yeah, 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 yeah. She's 
that performance was amazing. It was probably the highlight of the cruise for me. Um, there wind up being probably about 60, 70 people that wind up showing up, showing up at the end or towards the end. Um, but the performance was fantastic. Um, I'm actually hoping that he'll be on the cruise when we return and um, next month. So I'm really excited for that. Um, just high energy. It really did take me back. Um, it made me feel like my mom was there. She absolutely loved Jackie Wilson. Um, and it's like, to me, it was like a historical moment. I mean, he's a big celebrity, um, the son of, and he's also a celebrity now. Um, but just that whole Motown sound, I just love it. And he did play, he did um, perform songs from other artists from um, that era. But um, like I said, it was just phenomenal. So that probably was the highlight of the cruise for me. Besides, of course, spending time with Joe Marie. But now I am off to go find my ship model and probably gonna call it a night, but we'll see. Pictures digitally downloaded that we, we just got the small uh, photo package five pictures be sure you download and save before you get off the ship um, they'll give you like 15 days through your email but don't forget to actually download and save um, I made the mistake on the first Royal ship by not downloading and saving and I lost them all so just keep that in mind um, yeah make sure you, you do that and take advantage of the photos um, I felt like we didn't really take many photos this time. I'm glad I only got the five pictures, um, which is fine, I'll drop those here. Um, but yeah, had a great time. I'm now about to go pick up Joe Reef from the Kids Club have my ship model and we are going to finish packing and go to bed I'm tired it's been a great day all right good morning we are I believe back in miami i can't see i'm with our interior cabin but i'm pretty sure we're back in miami um we might have a little situation so <laughs> and having cruised so many times before i should know better than this so originally our itinerary said we would be back in Miami at 6 a.m. If you know anything about that, usually within 30 minutes of that, sometimes even before that time, you're able to get off the ship. Well, I scheduled an early flight because I wanted to get home as early as possible because the boys both have events and things tonight. And so I scheduled a flight for about 9.30 on Spirit Airlines. Well, most of you are probably thinking, well, if you're in Miami, Miami airport isn't too far away. Well, I realized that our flights are in Fort Lauderdale. So, and I should have known that. So right now, what we're about to do is we're gonna go ahead and have breakfast. Um, I went down to guest services to ask them um, where should where's the best place to go in order to get off the ship um, as quickly as possible. And they said we should go to the schooner bar, um, schooner, schooner, schooner bar, whatever, schooner bar, I think. Um, and that's where I think the Diamond Pinnacle and um, other guests go to be some of the first off. But they said, because I have a really early flight that I could do that, that would not be a problem. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the Windjammer, have a quick breakfast. Um, was not able to schedule an Uber like I did on the way here. And I think they don't allow that here in the Port of Miami because um, if your cruise is delayed for whatever reason, you have Ubers outside waiting. So we are going to probably, as we're walking down, um, the gangway, we're probably going to go ahead and schedule our Uber or, or request our Uber that way. Hopefully by the time we get through customs, we are able to um, just get straight to our Uber and get there. If everything works out the right way, I think we should be good to go. We do have priority um, going through security and all of that. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we make our early flight this morning. All right, we're off to breakfast. All right, wind jammer breakfast before we get off. Of course, coffee. Joe so got oatmeal. Stir that oatmeal up, girl. You gotta stir it up. And we are docked, and it's 6 15, so I'm hoping 6 30, 6 45, we're able to get off. So that would be perfect. So fingers crossed. Okay, thank you. 
All right, we have made it, and we're here at our gate, coffee in hand. Um, we, our Uber driver, <laughs> drove like a bat out of hell. Um, but we made it here safely. So if we, first off, let me say this, don't be like me. Do not schedule your flight before 11, 12 o'clock. Um, that was a big risk um, that, we, <laughs> that we did, especially having to travel to Fort Lauderdale. The ride down wasn't too bad, but once we got to the airport, we were like sitting for about 20 minutes trying to get to Terminal 4. <clears throat> so definitely don't do that. But we would have made our original flight. Thankfully, our flight was delayed by an hour. Um, uh, sorry, flying on Spirit, sometimes that happens. So I was actually relieved when I got the notification that we had an extra hour window. So we're just gonna sit here at the gate. We're gonna go ahead and close out this vlog though. So we had a great time, right? Yeah. Yep. All right, so thanks. Don't drink coffee. So thanks for following along on this uh, quick series just three days but again we have several cruises coming up um, for the summer so definitely stay tuned and if you have not already please um, give this video a thumbs up subscribe um, share and um, we hope to have you guys along for the journey so if you have any questions about sailing on freedom of the seas or Royal Caribbean feel free to drop those in the comments but now we are just going to sit back relax and we will see you guys soon all right bye bye